welcome to this week's autumnal themed video, another one, because that's that's what happens every time it gets to in September, October, all my videos become autumn themed. And this one is all about my everyday go-to autumn makeup, which has been my favourite look to do since the beginning of September. And it includes some new favourites, some old classics, so if you guys want to find out what I use on my face and if you guys want to try and recreate it then just carry watching okay so we're going to start with some primer and of course I'm gonna be using my trusty super glory one heck of a block primer which is one of my absolute favorites and it just sets me under eyes and everything else quite well and it mattifies the skin and of course I had to lose the lid literally like not even a minute into the video okay and now that my face is all primed we're going to be using my foundation so what I have been using in the summer slash moving into autumn like transition I've been using the Rimmel Lasting Radiance SPF 25 meaning coverage anti privation foundation and yeah it's really really good it's quite a nice lightweight consistency and it, it does match my tan I still have a tan I look very pale at the moment but I promise you I do have a tan and I'm gonna be really sad when it actually fades and I'm really pasty like a ghost I'm just gonna put it and any excess I do wipe onto a tissue because I don't want too much and now we blend away I did ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted this video this week or you wanted um, a Lush Christmas haul part one because the range did actually come out on Wednesday when you're seeing this and when I'm filming this so I was going to go out and buy things but as you're watching this I probably will be going today and then I will film the haul for maybe beginning of next week so you'll have the video really early instead of at the end of the week which is super exciting and it feels really weird to have Christmas products out at the beginning of September or well, the end of September beginning of October because Super Drug and other stores like Promark already have their Christmas stuff out I mean in real time it's no surprise because it's now three freaking months till Christmas which is insane so maybe some people will be starting to buy their Christmas presents I mean maybe I'll start as well but I have no idea who I'm gonna buy for this year because all my friends are away for uni and that so I have no idea how I'm gonna give their presents to them if they don't come back home but enough of that sad tale we're gonna move in to concealer and it's it's what I use all the time it's a NYX cosmetics dark circle corrector and then it's the revolution conceal define which is the best thing since sliced bread, if I'm being honest. I don't know why I did that. I literally have nothing there to cover. I am so sad. Okay, sponge. Okay, now that my base is like kind of done, I look more alive and I'm gonna go straight in with doing setting. So I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte powder for my under eyes and then the glossy welder powder for the rest of my face and then I'm quickly going to use my contour which is the imagination revolution palette and I actually use I switch between literally and warrior because this one's nearly finished so I need to like pack a bit more of a punch onto my face so cute a sweet little montage Okay, so this is where the look is going to get much more autumnal, so I'm using the Peach Party Blush from Sippy Glory. This has actually been really sadly discontinued, I don't know if you can still get it on the Boots website, but it is such a pretty 
bronzy toned pink blusher and it's got like highlight shimmer inside so it just gives a nice pretty seasonal glow to the cheeks and that was definitely a bit too much I always end up putting too much on my face if I'm filming a video, which is super annoying. And then the next part is actually brows, which I'm not gonna film because I say it's every single video for years, but my brows take a century. I have gotten quicker, I promise you. But today, you're not gonna see me do my brows. You're gonna see the finished look, so. I will see you in next five minutes, but it will be literally in the next second. So this is my eyebrows right now, and I will see you soon. And now my eyebrows are now done. So it is time to move on to what I call the main event of the look. The whole reason why I am filming this video so it's my eyes so this is a look i have been wearing constantly for the past like couple weeks or so because as soon as it hits september i'm like give me all the burnt orange burgundy eye looks so i will be using for the main look the soap extra spice palette from a revolution which is my go-to palette for autumn because you get all these pretty shades and you can tell which one i've used the most which is this one and they sun but it's just so gorgeous and for my inner highlight because there's not enough like light shades in this one i'll be using the imagination eyeshadow palette and i'll be using angel which is uh, this one here you can't really see it but anyway so to create the main bulk of my look, I've been actually using the Revolution Prime Look on the way I should have primer. So it's really good for creating looks, making cut creases and things like that. And this has just been my go-to for whenever I do my makeup. It just makes the look last longer and it allows the eyeshadow to apply easier. So I just put a bit, because it's got like a doe foot applicator, and so I just put the big bit on the back of my hand and then I use this little concealer brush thing and just paint my eyelid so it's brand new I have literally just patched this quite recently and it's the best thing ever I usually use it's the um, cut crease canvas from revolution I usually use that but this has just been just as good and I'm just gonna make like a halo kind of thing on the outer corner of my eye like so to start off the look it's just super easy to use as well I actually don't know how well of an angle that was but I primed my eyes and for like the like upper part I'll be using it 21 which is this pretty red on the outer corner and then the inner corner I'm using sweet and sour which is a lot orange and next to it I don't think I'm gonna make you guys zoom in is that better? hopefully as you can see it's slightly messy but don't worry it will come together Burn that in a bit more. Okay, so this is kind of like the base for it. And then I'm gonna go in and then just fill my actual eyelid with the concealer. And then I'm literally just gonna put the same colors, but like on the outer edges here. A little bit of the orange. It's literally the most simplest look I've created in ages like honestly but it, in a, it just looks so nice and the next part is to add LA Sun to the inner corner so I literally just get my finger and just pack it on
it's the prettiest gold ever and it just literally sticks effortlessly. Me and then to make the look a bit more darker, we're going to be using Enchanted, which is this really deep purple here. And just going to pack a little bit because it is very pigmented on the outer edge. So, and then get your blending brush. Just literally blend that outwards. And then I finish by putting 21 and Enchanted these two on my lower lash line. And then I go into my Imagination palette and take Angel and just pop that on the inner corner. And if you want, you can like leave it as this and just put mascara on. But more recently, I've been digging the winged eyeliner makeup look. Even though each time I do it, it is never even. But the Sophie Moore Super Cat Eyeliner, which is my absolute holy grail, is the one that I've just been obsessed with using. And I'm gonna quickly do my eyes then now. I just realized how hard it is. With holding a mirror and doing it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the mirror on my wall and I'll be back with you guys soon because this is gonna be very, very hard. But the idea is literally just to do moon eyeliner. And yeah, I'll probably do my mascara really quickly as well, just to speed it up a bit. So I'll be using the Mascara Revolution, which is one of my all-time favorite, like, mascaras but it does dry out super quickly but that's kind of a plus because then it gets quite clumpy and gives a bit more volume to your eyelashes as well so i will see you in like two seconds again okay so my eyeliner is now done as you can see it is definitely not even all the neatest but my pen is starting to run out which is quite sad and I've done my mascara so the last two steps are really highlighter and lipstick and then we have completed the look so I'll be going back in to my imagination highlight to the moon palette and I've been obsessed with a limited edition so it's this highlight here and it's just a really pretty like white highlighter so it just gives some nice definition and I just pop it on my brow bone like this. I find it neater to use a brush now than my fingers because then it's not as like messy. And then I just use my fingers for the rest of my face. Doing this kind of look it makes me so excited for the rest of autumn, which is exciting. And that is the highlight and lipstick wise. This is actually a new purchase which I made last weekend. Okay, not the weekend gone, the weekend before last. And it is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the colour Doom. And it's this really, really pretty dark purple. Look how stunning that is and it just makes my look more autumnal slash kind of gothic as my dad says he says i'm turning into a goth which i don't think i am i'm just fitting in with the season though i do wear black lipstick sometimes which is pretty fun as well so i just lined my lips with the nyx uh, lip liner in nude suede shoes and it's very small because it is one of my absolute favourites to use for almost every single lipstick I own. And there we go! We have our autumn makeup look and yeah I'm absolutely freaking digging it and it's just so simple to do, it's unreal. 
basically everything I used is either Revolution or NYX Cosmetics or 7 Glory. It's all drugstore, super affordable and what else can I say? It's it's just my favourite look to do and I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm just obsessed with this look. But if you guys did enjoy watching this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell below to get updates for next upload and hopefully there will be more autumn themed videos in the near future so hope you guys look forward to watching those so i will see you next week for another video or early next week because blush christmas ah okay guys love you goodbye